Hello guys, and yeah, well, it's been a while since I've actually put out something in this old dead YouTube channel, but this one was kind of interesting. I was actually streaming, you know, talking with Metal Sitting on Discord, and I decided to join a BF game. So, what happened was that, well, I mean, you'll see, but obviously it's in the title, so I kind of decided to take this game and make a little bit of a, like a... No, it's not really a tutorial per se, it's more of a showcase of what to do if you, for example, lose your boar and you don't have deer to push. So you can actually have a somewhat decent boom and, you know, don't fall behind and don't rage quit. And, well, this build order is gonna be somewhat simple, so yeah, let's get into it and I'll, I'll go over and commentate as we move forward. Um, I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit because obviously... It's pretty, pretty straightforward from now. Obviously, build two houses, two with one, build two with two. We can go into this viewpoint even, it's pretty, pretty really simple. But the basic Dark Age is gonna be pretty straightforward. Let me just actually mute. Um, well, as you can see, it's 4v4 Black Forest. I am playing Turks as the pocket. Um, sure, Turks do are. Technically an eco sit, right? Like if we go here, we can see that they collect gold 20% faster But I think that they're not really something too strong like Vikings or Indians or you know Mongols or Ethiopians something that, that that can do like a really really strong boom So I think that this guide is still somewhat representative of a typical civilization you would want in this scenario, right? So first things first, obviously six on sheep, then the seventh villager goes and builds a lumber camp. As you can see, I built it in this spot because it's a pretty, pretty okay wood line. Second one I think was around here or there. I'd say these are pretty close and okay wood spots. Um, I think I have a little bit more sheep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I send these back. Um, so basically, as you can already see in the title, I'm chasing some guy's scout for some reason. As you can already see in the title, right? Yeah, I'm sending two sheep to my ally anytime soon, so don't worry, I won't have extra sheep, I think, I hope. Um, so basically, this was my boar, and you're gonna see this uh, professional player take it away. And you can also see my deer are here, and his deer are here. So just watch what happens. I mean, Black Forest in a nutshell, honestly. As you can see, I sent the two sheep away. So, 6 on food, 4 on wood, pretty basic start, nothing too fancy, just some action, some mixing happening. Um, yeah, another reason why I took this game, because it is a realistic game, right? Like, I am playing this game instead of doing it versus AI in single player, right? So you can kind of just see it done in pretty, pretty typical game. So, 4 on wood, uh, now I took the boar and I did, okay, so basically I'll pause because... Maybe some people don't even know this basic stuff. So what happens is you put six on sheep, as I did, right? So here are the original six villagers. These six. And then I put four on wood, and then I send the next one to take the boar. As you can see, the seventh wheel on the boar. That worded in. And then I, the next one, so 13th, how the 15th pop. Uh, I sent uh, to, to build two houses, and then this one already, the 14th. Pop villager, so 13th villager overall, already goes to build the mill. This is pretty, pretty basic. I do this like almost every game in the Dark Age. I kind of have very, very typical Dark Ages. So basically what happens here, he builds the two houses and then you save the walking time. So he's just gonna directly go to bury. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Nothing to worry about. Now, yeah, you can see I'm just sending those to berries now. It's gonna be four on berries and just watch what happens watch he's gonna go and take my boar honestly i have no idea how he figured that that's his boar considering he has one boar here and one there but i was actually super pissed i tried to push it the area i was already going to take my boar as you can see this was really just it did piss me off a bit but at the same time i was like well okay bf players eh um okay well you can see now I'm 18 out of 25, my boar is finished, I would wear a second boar, but again I don't have it, so the villager that went to where the boar just built a house, and he says sorry and then wants me to take his boar, which I say, good luck. And then, okay, you can see 18 out of, the, of 30, and then the 19th, so 18th villager, 19th population, wants to build a second lumber camp, and since I don't have a boar, 
and I didn't push deer because he's already pushing my deer, which is just amazing. I already am going on wood, right? I have four on this one per camp, as you can see. That's actually this micro. Should be two villagers on each side. Don't judge. And then I put five on berry. Yeah, the house villager went on berry because again, I don't have boar and no deer, so I did put five on berry. And now already two farms around seven minutes. Like. There's no guidelines, I'm kind of improvising at this point, but at the same time, it's just gonna work because there's no guidelines really how to do it. The basic concept right now is, you know, 4 on 1 LC, 4 on 2 LC, 5 on berries, and now the basic argument is that I will need more on wood, because I will be uh, placing more farms, because I'm gonna run out of sheep in like the next 2 minutes, right? So typically you would have 2 boars, you know, even if you push deer, and then you can have a really smooth uptime, obviously. Um, one thing that I'll say straight on, this is not the perfect boom. I can definitely do a better boom, like give me boar and uh, you know deer. You can definitely do a little bit of a faster boom than I did. But I still think this is okay. And if you're anything like below, you know, 19, 18, 100 boom, like doing even this is gonna be really, really nice. Even if you have two boars, I would argue. Okay, so you can see I'm already putting another one on wood, so 23rd villager already going on wood, so now I have 5 on wood here. And you can see I'm face placing a lot of farms because I know I'm going to run out of sheep, then sending another one, so now I'm going to have 10 on wood. This is not something you typically do on a fast castle build order because again you have boars and even some deer. So you don't need that much wood so much early on, but you can see I'm just placing farms all over the place all over the place and uh, yeah you can see i'm completely out of sheep and it's 9 minutes 30 which is super fast actually okay so let's see 27 um yeah so 27 i click up which is actually this is actually a typical uptime i even have a guide on this it's quite kind of outdated i should probably remake it so if any if you actually want me to do that just you know leave a message below but the main concept is I still click up, like I'm not doing 30 bills, right? Like you can see, I'm the second one clicking up. And this guy had three boars and he's Kelts. Kelts with three boars, right? Sure, he walled this, but come on. Three boars, deer, actually, he had, he pushed four deer. Three, oh no, he pushed uh, two deer, actually. Okay, well, two deer, three boar, and he just, you know, clicks up uh, two villagers faster than I do. Um, okay, so... What is a little bit unique, but I think this kind of applies in Arena and Black Forest. I'm not getting wool, but I'm gonna send one villager to collect uh, 30 gold for me. So this villager is gonna collect 30 gold, and then I'm gonna sell 100 wood in the market, so I have 200 gold and I can click up. You don't need to do it. If you don't do it, you will just take one villager off wood here, and you will just place a mining camp. If you would have gotten womb, obviously, and then you would just collect 100 extra gold with two villagers, like you kind of typically do, 150 extra gold, I mean. But uh, this doesn't really change much. And you can already see that I have uh, 10 farms in Dark Age, right? Farms here, and then already one farm here on the mill because my berries are running low a bit. So. Let's just go up. I also did send one build, by the way, to wall this because, well, Black Forest and I did not want to get Castle Witch pushed. Um, I do not have Womb, but I kind of have everything scouted here with the scout, so it's kind of okay. Um, okay, so let's do a small recap, right? So we're going to be hitting Feudal Age in around 12 minutes, which is pretty okay timing. Um, I do not have Womb, which is the only difference from a normal build order. Uh, but again, if you're playing Arena or Black Forest, you don't truly really need to get Womb. Um, so, let's do a small recap, what do we have? I have 5 on 1 LC, I have uh, f 5 on the 2nd LC, but I'm already bringing wheels off to build my market and blacksmith, and I already have uh, 1 villager collecting the 30 gold, and then I have already 10 farms building my 11th farm here, because again, I'm gonna need food, you can see I have a lot of wood actually. So, I go up, I'm gonna queue... Okay, I kind of fell asleep here, honestly. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm building a blacksmith here and two villagers on the market. So I'm gonna queue two villagers up and uh, build up these two buildings. I don't know what happened there, honestly. Like, again, maybe I was talking to someone in chat or something like that. 
but you can already see I'm just placing a lot of farms up. Then I kill two villagers. I'm gonna have a little bit of an idle time. Shit happens. I think I kind of fell asleep here, but blacksmith and market is coming up. And I'm gonna queue all the wheels up and... Okay, so I click up 1311. And you can see that... For example, if you take Black Forest in context, it's the third fastest uptime. So I'm gonna say it's pretty, pretty decent. I I'm not gonna say that I'm a little bit behind. Again, I could have done it perfectly, honestly, but... I think this just shows a good adaptation of your situation, obviously. Um, so yeah, you know, 5 on 1 LC, 5 on the second one. I don't know why this one's still collecting gold. I probably forgot to take it off. And you can already see I have at 12 farmers. And I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of builders where people go up like 23 plus 2, 24 plus 2. They would probably have like 5 farms. I already have 12, so you can see how much food I'm actually getting off these farms. Now I get double bid axe and I get horse cover, the typical upgrades, send the gold wheel on wood. So now I have 6 on one LC and 5 on the other one. I'm just rewalling here again, you know, just to be safe. Why not? Better safe than sorry. So yeah, one villager just wasting time there. Um, okay, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it was pretty boring just watching me go up. And not microing my lumber camp because I'm actually a pleb. Um, well, I mean, one thing to look out for, let's watch my relative uptime compared to this guy, for example, who did get a really good Dark Age of You can see he has three farms, right? He's also taking stone for some particular reason, so that was interesting to see how this goes compared to my uptime. You can see Memb is even going to be up soon as well. So is Skogo, who actually... Is he make an army? He doesn't look like he's making an army. But yeah, okay, so I get up, I place a second TC here, you can see I have a lot of food actually, and then I'm gonna place a third TC here, I did kind of overkill it a little bit with the farms, but again, I think in this scenario it's not the worst case in, in the world, and then I'm gonna get bow saw, and heavy plow, you know, because that's what you kind of want to do, maybe you already got it, I don't know, I'm not that paying attention that precisely I'm just trying to walk you through you know how you can adapt to these scenarios so like the basic concept is if you don't have boar and deer you're just gonna have to build a shit ton of more farms so you can actually click up to the castle age so here we go i get up i get ball saw it's a little bit late it should have been a little bit faster but i was a bit short on wood right because my berries also ran out faster because i had five bills so i had so much idle bills that i had to put to use which is kind of the main reason I didn't have a lot of wood. Here we go getting bow saw and heavy plow, which not everyone actually gets. You can see 34 villagers, kind of okay. Not even falling behind or anything like that. So now it's pretty straightforward, you know, build villagers, build farms. There's really not much to it. And yeah. You basically survive to the castle age and... Well, and, and the second guideline is that you want to have around 50 villagers, around 50 villagers, when uh, in 20 minutes. So we can watch if I'm gonna have something close to that, because again, that's a pretty good representative. You can see I'm keeping all the TCs working. It's pretty, pretty straightforward from here. <coughs> Apologies for that. A lot of uh, coughing. <laughs> Well, okay, like, look at it, it's not even a bad boom, honestly, like, it's a pretty solid boom. I'm gonna pause on 20 minutes exactly, and we can compare my boom. 20 minutes, 49 villagers. Okay, 48 villagers, 1 military. I'd say it's a pretty decent boom, right? Like, minus 1 boar and no deer, I'm gonna call it a decent boom, you know? For example, the second highest one, not right now, is Mem, 46, and then Tia Haribo, who's gods. Yeah, he's not pushing or anything like that as well, so it's not like he was delayed. Yeah, he's doing 40 C. I'm not really a fan of that, but... Yeah, Mem, for example, is Indians, and then this guy, who actually had all my resources. You know, he pushed in all my deer, and he pushed in all of his deer. So, this guy had 6 deer and 3 boars, but you can see 7 goes behind, right? So, like, if you can just do this, you're gonna be ahead of these guys, who a bunch of them are 18, 1900, whatever. 
So yeah. You can see the booms working out pretty pretty nicely. Again, considering all my resources. 20 minutes, I get wheelbarrow. Um, it is a little bit of late wheelbarrow, I probably should have done it around 45, 47 wheels. But uh, again, it's not really the end of the world. You can see I am collecting gold already and collecting stone because my plan is to go Janissaries because I'm Turks. So you kind of want to adapt to the situation, you know, start collecting gold at, at around this hour. I have, for example, 7 here, I'm getting gold mining upgrade. And then I will be getting the stone mining upgrade and handcart later on as well i mean from here on it just goes like a typical boom i know some people some of you people don't know what a typical boom is but it's like there's no crazy guidelines you just build farms put wheels on wood and gold and stone i mean it's easier said than done but yeah you can see now 21 minutes you get stone mining upgrade it's pretty straightforward from here just keep building farms i replaced my lumber camp i have a bunch on stone as well now Well, you can see 61 wheels, you know, 50, I actually have the highest wheel number, same with men and Tia Haribo. So you can see the boom is pretty, pretty solid so far. I'm gonna get hit hand card. Yeah, here we go. 2239 hand card, pretty good considering. Look at that, Mem got real barrel only now. I'm already getting hand card. Hand card is super good. And you can see if I'm gonna pause on 23, 30, bleh. 23 minutes, I am at 66 wheels and getting hand card, which is, I, in my opinion, a pretty okay margin. Again, if you would do like 24 plus 2, I would probably be more ahead and even already got hand card and maybe starting to close in on clicking up. But, you know, I did do a pretty, pretty heavy farm build order because, again, otherwise I would have to abuse the market to click up. And you can see, for example, if we compare it to the Kelt, who is on 40C, he is behind on wheels at me and we can do something more we can even just go into achievements and look at economy stats and you can see that if we compare myself i am not that far behind in any form of resource i have the most food collected i'm only 400 resources behind on wood collected and then here i am 200 resources and 200 resources ahead so even i'm plus minus around 500 resources ahead on uh, other players which in my opinion is pretty pretty solid so i would say that i'm having a really really nice boom with a sieve that is not really really eco based for example again compared to indians or even celts so you can see that you can definitely pull this off even with a with a mediocre sieve like turks well you can already see hand card is gonna be done now we are closing in on that 23 30 mark i am on 68 villagers and now finally the god player is three villagers ahead of me but again you could say we're almost equal that's like one two build difference yeah everyone's hitting that 70 mark okay so um if you guys are wondering the reason they're hitting that 70 mark is because they are okay skogo just building military that's why but for example, Kelt is on 40C, the God is on 40C as well, and I'm pretty sure that Mem is on 40C as well. Yes, he is. So that's why they are catching up on bills, but again, on resource collected, I am still ahead, you know, a few hundred, like 500 resource, maybe a little bit more. And other than that, you can definitely treat TC boom, you don't have to listen to the, to the plebs telling you that you have the 40C boom. I know a lot of pro players do it. But it's like, yeah, this is a kind of a good example of a decent 3 TC boom without much problems. Um, once I get imp, we can work on resources collected again. Now I'm going to build a siege workshop and the monastery so I can click up. Um, yeah, the uptime is actually not that ideal. Like if you go back and watch my old boom, I'm going to be clicking around 30 seconds faster than I am now. Um, but again, this is a really, really heavy eco approach build, not like the super fast up. Yeah, 25 minutes, I'm gonna click up. Which in my opinion is pretty decent considering the situation. I could have even clicked up faster uh, if I was super fast with the buildings. And here we go, I click up. Oh, that's a nice double bit time. 25.16, I click up. It's the fastest imp time as we can see. I am on almost 80 villagers. So I'd say it's pretty, pretty decent. I'm gonna already start building my first castle as you can see already here. So. 
Um, now we can just kind of chill. I mean, there's no mu no real guidelines on how you want to balance your eco. I'm going for Janice, so I'm heavily on stone, obviously. If you would be going for something like Paladin, you would probably be on less stone or like even none stone, maybe one castle for a conscription. I do get house like a pleb. If you would be going for Arbalest, then you would maybe have a little bit less farms or, you know, not recede farms anymore. But I am going for Janissaries, which require castles, food, gold. And I'm going to go for BBCs, which require wood and gold. So I kind of need a super heavy eco, getting gold shaft mining as well now, building my first castle. So we're going to speed this up a little bit and then I will be actually just, you know, commenting a little bit and then ending the guide. I just want to show you what eco you can have when you actually click Imperial, which is actually not that bad, in my opinion. And then we're going to look at resources collected because obviously there are people with more villagers than me, but let's see if it actually re represents them having more resources collected. I mean, if it do, I'm going to be super amazed, but but yeah, again, I did kind of have a very rough dark age to begin with. Okay, so you can see I am uh, almost 90% in. And look at the resources, right? I'm going to have two castles up, two siege workshops, 1.3k food, 600 gold, almost 1k wood, which is pretty, pretty good in my opinion. Considering everything, it's a pretty heavy economy. Okay, let's pause. Okay, so I click up, I have one castle, second castle 20%. I mean, this could have been a little bit uh, already done up if I would have bring more villas. I have 91 villagers, I have two siege workshops, two castles down, so now I can start queuing Janis and some BBCs. Almost 800 gold, 800 food, 1.3 uh, 800 wood, 1.3k food, and you can see I'm getting leather ultra armor for my Janissaries and 28. 26 we click up so if you look at achievements again and economy stats we can see that basically if we compare it the Kelt guy is 600 resources ahead of me here he's 1k resource ahead here he is about 800 behind and 700 behind here so 800 700 that's around 1.5k then here it is 1k and 600 so basically he is maybe 150 200 resources ahead of me which is kind of nothing when you think about him it's basically like you know deleting a mangano or whatever or building another lumber camp or building like two or three extra farms right so arguably he's not ahead of me in economy even though he has almost 20 villagers more right now uh, and you can, and you also got a thing that I'm imp with all this economy, and he barely just clicked up, right? But we have the same resources collected, even though I was on one boar and no deer, and he was on two boars and six deer, and he was on, uh, and he's kelts. So you can see that this build is working pretty good. I have a really nice uptime, nice uh, wheelbarrow for Skogo. I have really nice uptime compared to other people. And I have a really strong economy to push in Imperial. I'm getting Janissaries, look at that BBC queued up. And second castle is coming up. So I'm super ready to push here now. And well, that's gonna be it for this. I'm not gonna show you how this game went because it's kind of disgusting actually. But yeah, you can see this economy, it is super strong. I have a lot of upgrades, a lot of eco upgrades. Getting two man saw as well now for that extra wood income. And you can see that all my eco is working working pretty decently. I'm getting stone, getting farms, gold. Yeah, my wooden gold was stuck, but it is fine. So um, this is where I'm gonna call it. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned some few things, especially those people who might struggle when their board gets stolen, or you know, they, like for example in Arena or BF, if one of your teammates or assholes like mine and steals a board, <laughs> or you know, in Arena if you're playing flank and you get your board stolen, you can see that you can do it without boar and without deer, like if I had deer, there's no problem. Pushing two deer basically, say, basically equals the boar, but if you have no boar and no deer, it does become a little bit tricky. So I hope this kind of showed that, you know, just putting thin on wood and placing farms kind of fixes that issue. And yeah, this was not a really a typical build represent, more around the lines of going out to that in a real game scenario. So if you guys want me to actually make a typical 24, 25 pop build with deer and two boars, I can do that as well. That is 
pretty pretty nice boom like uh, i would i would call it an advanced boom guide but if you want just leave it in co comments and if you have any questions feel free to write them down as well so thanks for watching and take care guys